Well, hello and welcome to tutorial 29 in the series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language. And uh, if you're not on our email list, then please join by going to markplex.com. That's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com and join the list. And then I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials uh, and uh, such. So in this particular uh, tutorial we're going to be drawing a rectangle using Easy Language and uh, it is a rectangle that has been created programmatically and because of that we know at any one moment what the high value, the low value, the left and the right values are and uh, furthermore we can move the lines around so that we can uh, adjust the uh, box or rectangle as we go and um, this takes a little bit of time because what we're waiting for here is for the the chart to uh, tick and um, there hasn't been a tick at this point so when that happens then the chart will um, join up the lines there we go the other little feature here is that if we were to move the line a little bit off center like that what will happen is when it resize when the box resizes the, uh, the the yellow line will align up with the uh, the left and right, the, the green and the teal lines here. So this is something that could potentially uh, be used in some form of uh, strategy where you, for example, might say you want to buy if the price goes uh, above this line and sell if it goes below this line, provided that we're between this date and time and this date and time. Um, I've not done that here. This is just a demonstration uh, indicator. In addition, I may, um, as, as a part two, add the actual price and date time values to this on the chart. But I haven't done that here just to keep things simple. So let's look at the uh, actual easy language. And the first thing to notice here is that the uh, original top value and the original bottom value, they are inputs, but we have set them as a default value 25% uh, of the way up the the screen and 75% of the way up the screen. And we do that using the get app info, info AI lowest display value and AI highest display value. Um, however, for the uh, the date, time, date and time, left and right, we've let those so that you uh, have to input those values. And uh, just to demonstrate how that looks on the actual chart is if we go to format, analysis techniques, double click on that and you'll see that uh, we've got this functionality here but then we've got original left date 1090821 which means 2009 August the 21st left date um, sorry left time 0400 and right date uh, 2009 August 21st and then the uh, the right time 0600 so I'm just going to close that and we can go back to the the tutorial itself so what we do um, to start with, we just do this once, is we draw the original box. And we do this just using the TL new function. And uh, you can see that has the start date, start time, start value, start uh, rather end date, end time, end value. And we do that for all the four lines in the rectangle. And we've colored them red, green, yellow. And this one, uh, the teal one, becomes teal. It's because that's the um, default color and that's just useful in terms of understanding how the program works obviously in real life we might want to just make them the same color so what we then do and we've we've now got four main parts of the program and um, they're all pretty similar so let's just look at each one in turn so we first one is seeing if the yellow line the top horizontal line has moved so we say if it's the last bar on chart if the top value and the top value is initially set to the original top value so we say if the top value uh, is not equal to the value of the yellow line now um, set the end value here since it's a horizontal line the begin val and end val are the same and um, if we move it obviously the top value the value that the program has currently got stored will not be the same so what we'll then do is set the top value as the new value of the yellow line and then what we have to do is let's just look at the, the chart if we move the yellow we have to then change the end of this line the green line and the teal line and what we do we do that we just send them to end at this new top value simple as that 
Similarly for the, the red line, which is the bottom horizontal line, and we say if the bottom value is not the same as the, the red value, and again we've used the end because the beginning and end are the same, then we set the bottom value equal to the level of the red line and then we set the beginning this time the beginning of the green and the teal lines to be equal to the bottom value and um, similarly with the date and time now this is slightly more complicated because here we have to test the right date against the end time and here we're looking at the teal line incidentally and the uh, the right time against um, the end time of the teal line and what we say is if, if either the date has changed or the time has changed then we need to make an adjustment and um, if there has been a change we then set the right date to be equal to the date of the teal line the right time to be the the time of the teal line and incidentally we're using end date and end time here because it's a vertical line so the end and the beginning date and times or rather the end date is the same as the beginning date and the end time is the same as the beginning time. And then uh, if the teal line moves, so let's just uh, give you an example. So the teal line has moved, that means we have to adjust the yellow line and the red line. So let's just look at how we do that. And uh, we say that the uh, we're going to set the end of the yellow line to be equal to the right date and the right time. Here we here we have those variables we've just changed. And similarly for the red line. Oh, and uh, one thing I didn't mention in the above two cases is we've also ensured that the yellow line, in fact, each of the lines is aligned properly. And all we do there is we set the begin and we set the end as, in, for example, the left, uh, the yellow line becomes the uh, left date, left time, top value, right date, right time, top value. And what that succeeds in doing is just moves it back into alignment. And we do something very similar for the the red line, the teal line, and the green line. And uh, the green is moved very similarly to the teal, apart from in this case we set the beginning values rather than the end values. So let's just uh, go back and look at the, the chart. And you can see now that the uh, the teal that we just moved has indeed moved and this really depends on how quickly the chart is um, is ticking away and um, as I say I might as a next part of this uh, tutorial or I will most probably make some modifications so we can see the values of these lines and I should just mention that uh, in order to keep this tutorial simple I've made it so we've assumed that the uh, the yellow line is always on top the teal on the right the green on the left and the red at the bottom uh, obviously one could make it a little more sophisticated so we could deliberately program it so that it would work seamlessly if we decided to move the the red line above the yellow or the green to the right of the teal I've not specifically done that in this particular case so anyway, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you're not on the markplex.com email mailing list, that's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com, uh, then please join. I'd be happy to let you know about new tutorials. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much.